Okay, talking with the filmmaker of Hugo Manchester, Daniel Rodriguez Correa. Say it, say it how I'm supposed to say it. How to say, how do I say your name? Daniel Rodriguez Correa. Yeah, I couldn't say that, but I did it, I did it my <laughs> my Canadian way. Uh Canadian so thank brother. you for that. So okay, so you're you're lit you're we're talking to you in the Netherlands, but you're originally from Portugal, but the film was made in Slovenia, right? That's correct. So it's a dance film. Um very artistic dance film. So tell me about your, what's from your uh, experience, what's your experience doing dance films in general? Um, well, most what I like is to to be in contact with the dancers. I like to, to have the camera close to the dancers. I like to feel the movement. So through my experience as a director, mostly dance films, it's being focused on that. I love the movement. I love the pace. Uh, I'm also a video editor, so it's super exciting for me to to edit um, dance. But it's fair to say that this is more than a dance film, right? This is this is a uh, there's there's obviously a story here. There's a historical yes. story. You shot it in black and white, and it's what's the what are you yeah. trying to say with this movie? What's the thema what's the thematic overall thematic? Yeah, in this case, we. We try to connect the history of the city of Maribor in Slovenia uh, with dance. So I got um, I got requested by this uh, dance film school from the town to think about the concept that would involve dance and film, and then we talk about uh, involving this what what happened in the history of the town in Maribor, and this guide us through a couple of discussions where we found out that this industrialization period was in, really into the history, connected into the history of the city. Uh, this uh, journey of the development of the industry of Maribor. And then through a choreography that was done by a choreographer from uh, Center Plaza from this dance school, we decided to show this journey and this transformation of the city in, during the 20th century. That, went through a lot gotcha that was the main name so the, the film starts in black and white it starts with a she's a, a woman is like riding the bicycle through the streets and we're supposed to be in like the 1940s yeah 1920s 1940s okay. correct and then so you're kind of giving us the tone so where would where did you actually film that we're like what does that like what how did you kind of recreate that that era yeah. So that was uh, actually shot where this on the this factory still existed. So most of them they're abandoned at this moment. So there was a, a lot of uh, there was some composition and some cleanups done of stuff that we removed after gotcha. we shot. Uh, so there was some post production work on on there, but the idea was to have this person driving this bicycle and riding this bicycle through the factories where they, they used to to work. Um, and then we go through this scene where we have all the dancers, so the people working in the factory, dressing themselves uh, mm -hmm. with this uh, very socially suit from the time. Uh, and that guides them through the scene inside the factory. Yeah. And what's your connection to uh, like Yugoslavia, former Yugoslavia and Slovenia? What is your connection to to this 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 place on earth? So I, I lived there a couple of years ago. I, I lived uh, I live in the country for more than three years, mm -hmm. and in Maribor city specifically for two years, uh, where I shot another dance film with, with the same people, actually with the same school. Yeah, and we always had this idea to come back uh, after a couple of years and and make something else, um, and that's why we decided to come together, uh, reunite, uh, and shot another movie. Uh, this time, exploring a bit more this industrialization of the city and all this nostalgia that they feel. Yeah, well, there's an overlining sadness to it too, right? So. Like, yeah, it's very interesting because all the dancers, or most of them, they, they live in the city and their parents and their families or grandparents, they worked on these same factories that we were shooting and we, we were trying to talk, talk about. It. So, and some of them, even when they were young, they remember to be inside these factories. So mm -hmm. there is a strong connection. Yeah, the generational the, thing, right? So yeah, they're exactly. like, their ancestors or their, their parents or their grandparents are there. 
So where did you, okay, where did you, where, like, it's like, it, it's a pretty great location. <laughs> like, I'm curious about where you shot it and what, what did you have to add to it in terms of art direction? Um, it was quite challenge in the beginning to find the right places. So some of these factories, they don't, they don't exist anymore. Uh, others are really abandoned. It was hard to find um, uh, like just access to it. But then in the end, um, we found the one when, when we shot the last, the last scene that is totally empty. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, it was a car, fac car factory in that time. And they were developing uh, Yugoslavia cars. And now there is another company using half of the building and the other half of the building is empty. So that one, we, we managed to, to get uh, almost free access to it. So that was great. Um, the bars, it's a very typical bar uh, and very rural bar from, from the city. So we, we changed some things around, but was pretty much that. It, it still stayed from that time. And the main scene of the factory, that's, uh, that's actually a factory that it's a modern factory. So mm -hmm. that we, we had to remove some stuff uh, and then we use it just shotting in one side, you gotcha. see it the other side. <laughs> so basically you didn't add, you removed and you're, you're creative with the, your, your, your camera placing. Exactly, exactly. We tried to be smart. We had a very limited budget for, for that. So we, we couldn't invest so much into location. So that was it works for the film because it's there's that confinement, yeah. right? That kind of like yeah. claustrophobic or kind of that, that kind of like I'm stuck here kind of atmosphere with the dancing. Yeah. So it kind of the it works for the dancing, it works for the the vibe of the film, right? So yeah, I think it worked quite well. Is that the representation of uh, the Second World War and then the Yugoslavia War that we wanted to show the more compact place yeah. where all that was happening? Yeah. So, like, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a historian. I just like it's what I read, what I've seen. But basically, mm -hmm. it's a very interesting part of our of Europe, right? Where like it got destroyed during World War II, built itself back up. For my historical purposes, like I'm old enough to remember Serie A, the, the, the Olympic Games, which looked mm -hmm. amazing. Like I'm like not nine years old. And I'm like, wow, this is a beautiful place. I want to <laughs> go there because that's what the Olympics part of the Olympics are. It's like showing the showing the city that it's in. And you want to go there. And then like mm -hmm. four years later, it's like it's everything's or five years later, everything's destroyed. Right. So. And exactly. you're like, what so, the hell happened, right? Like, I, I remember th being like 12, 13 years old and learning about this. I'm like, what? I, I just saw this at the Olympics. What's going on? Like, that's like my little <laughs> yeah. missing brain, right? So, uh, And we tried to show a bit that. So it was um, after the confrontation that we have in the film with the, with the boss yeah. uh, in the factory that represents uh, the beginning of a world war to the invasion of the Nazi and then at the end of that scene is the revolution that happened also inside the city, because at that yeah. time um, there was no Slovenia, right? Um, and then there was this part when we go to the, um, the bar scene that we represent this posture and this um, basically the scene that represented development during Yugoslavia. So there was all this sense of hope and uh, and that's where the in, in the industry in the in that city also developed the most. And so there was a lot. That's why it was, was called the Yugoslavia, the Manchester city or Yugo Manchester was because it was they would call it the Yugo Manchester because it was the Manchester of Yugoslavia. Oh, there was awesome. so much industry there. Yeah. Uh, so for the city specifically, it was a very important and very period of growth. It's just sad, right? City. Like it's just it's all and about then, ideology. It's all about it's all about ideology, right? Like it's yeah. Just... So and there was a lot of this, uh, of course, communism and, uh, and social buildings and all this industry where you have the old families working on these factories. The factories had schools and libraries inside and people, all the family was there basically. Uh, and then it went through yeah, the end of Yugoslavia and 
fortunately was not very affected like the, the part of Slovenia was not really so much in confront they managed to get inside the European Union quite early in war so they were kind of saved from a lot of destruction um, and with that came then the transformation from industrialization to another type of industry more probably service yeah. and then all these factories start fall because they were so connected with Yugoslavia that then everything changed yeah well, yeah, there's it's it's happened like that's a that's a that's yeah. what's happened in all over the world, right? Because we've changed. Exactly. Yeah, we're we're not a we're not an industrial kind of world now, right? We're we're an information world, right? We're the internet. We're talking on Zoom right now, so everything's exactly. changed, right? But these factories, there's that, like you said, there's that, there's that. That was a century. There's a whole century of culture, right? So that's going mm -hmm. on in these factories. It's yeah, not that exactly. they don't happen anymore. They just don't happen as much, right? So. Yeah, it's just small scale, especially in Europe. Um, everything moved out. Yeah, everything goes like, to Asia or China. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and especially there because they had it was really brands from Yugoslavia. So the cars were Yugoslavia cars. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a factory of textile that was doing uh, clothes for the army of Yugoslavia. So even that, the country didn't exist anymore. So there was. This, all these things didn't exist anymore. They really faded away really quick. So let's talk about your dancers, your cast, because there's really not a main character in your film. Like there's characters and we get to know them, but there it's more of an ensemble, right? Kind of a cliche statement, but it's an ensemble yeah. dance film. And so I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to count. Was, was there 10 or there was more than 10? Was there 12 uh, dancers? Uh, oof. Two boy, know, two male, and had... two women? Yeah. Probably around twelve, yeah, maybe. I don't know by heart, but basically, we to also try to use this woman in the beginning, yeah, and and she's in all the scenes, so she's, she's not a representative to the to the story, right? So yeah, yeah. So she doesn't represent one character, but she's representing the more the culture, yeah. So it's not that she has a specific character. And so we follow her because I use her to guide us yeah. inside the factory. And then in the end, uh, always the same. But I would say that we have then that person. Um, we have the boss, the confrontation. Yeah. Uh, so the, that will be the, the Nazi coming into place. Uh, and then the end, we have the same person representing the future of the country and hope. Mm -hmm. So we have the same person just representing different things uh, through the movie. Hundred percent. And it's, which, listen, I watch a lot of dance films, and ninety percent of dance films are about an individual journey or a couple's journey or whatever. Like it's it's, it's about like it's a big theme. Generally, a lot of them, a lot of them have grand themes, mm -hmm. but it's usually the individual journey within the context of the theme. You're giving us a thematic movie. You're giving us a thematic dance film where, like you said, she represents these. Like she, the 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 person on the bicycle represents the the the, the past, present, and future. I guess of what you're doing in this film, right? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So through that, through a couple of cinematographers tricks, through changing color, changing the formats, that yeah. we start in three by four, and then we end up in cinematic, and through the movie things expand and, and change the color. Color grading also has a huge factor uh, through this movie to represent all these steps. So the progression of the 20th century. So where did you find the, uh, where did you find the dancers? They were all in Slovenia? Yeah, so they are from this dance school called Center Plesa, Center Plesa Maribor. So there are some people that I met while I was living there. Uh, some became friends of mine. And they have this dance school where they teach different kinds of dance from modern dance to contemporary to hip hop to, I think I also do some aerial yoga at this moment. So they have a couple of different things inside the dance school. And most of the dancers, they, were, they are the, the professors of the school. They are also some students, but most of them, they are the dancer professors. And it's a very interesting school because also, most of the of these professors, they have their own profession. So this start as a group of friends uh, that had a passion for dance, and they start teaching. 
in the small room and now the school just became really big actually for the city and it's really interesting also to see this progression of, of them uh, throughout the years and they still have their urban professions some are doctors some are professions some are psychiatric like they all have this, their own thing gotcha and they're just dancers yeah. and then they are dancers and they're professors have they all um, seen they, the film they all seen the thing we already show it also in the city for for the people that live there of course and they love it yeah they love the film they love it yeah it's, yeah it's a good it's, it's a really, it's really solid connected film. with them it really really, really is a solid film yeah thank you so much and yeah, like I said, like it's like so then so then you so you go from the factory to the bar, right? To the bar, like it's like the kind of like after, after after the the work is done. That's my interpretation. After you go to the bar for yeah. a drink. So we go. So we are in the factory. We have this confrontation. Yeah. And then from the and then they rebelled, uh, and then we have this. Uh, taking this boss and convincing him of dancing with them. And that's the unification, unification of uh, of the country. And this was a big inspiration from Dancing in the Dark. So there is a scene uh, from Bjork. There is I a remember scene that film Bjork, quite right? Quite similar. Yeah. yeah. So there is a scene in, in Dancing in the Dark from Bjork, where also her boss is kind of annoyed with her, and then she she takes her, and, and they all start dancing. So there was a big inspiration for this part of the movie. And then we go to the Yugoslavia period in the, in the bar representing the 50s, 60s, uh, 70s, uh, obvious there. Um, and, and there was really the, there is special for the people that live in the city right now. That's what's in their moment, in their memory, the freshest mm -hmm. moments. Um, that's I think that's all also the culture that they identify the most. Um, so I wanted to have something very positive there. Yeah, it's great. And then, and then the ending, yeah. you have to like a, the individual kind of dance, I guess, right? Representing the, the future. Exactly. So then we go in the end of the bar. Uh, we see everyone taking out the chairs and uh, the tables. That's uh, also inspiration from Pinar, the movie. There is this scene where they are dancing around the, the tables, kind of a bar. It was probably not really a bar, but it's very similar. Uh, and the idea is that all the industry is dissipating. So this is like the end of Yugoslavia everything is going out and then we end up with the bar empty and then we go to the factory abandoned and then there we we go into the eyes of the dancer so that represents for me this um 90s like what's what's what now now it's different country now we are slovenia now we are in european union yeah and then it's like all this hope that of course, she's dressed still on this suit that we that we design ourselves. Yeah. Uh, also, someone from from the city that developed this this dress that also resembles the past, so a bit of folk, but with some modernity. So, looking at the future, but always with this sense of don't forget where we come from. So you, so yeah, so basically like contrary to uh, uh, Dancing in the Dark, where you said it was an inspiration, which kind of is very sad not to give a movie away, but it's it's, <laughs> it's pretty sad and makes you want to cry and makes you want to like <laughs> go sink in, a, in the go in the corner and roll up on a ball and, and cry for a long time because it's not the happiest film and <laughs> and but it's effective but this film is the exact opposite it's 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 basically very positive it's it's showing a positive future we've been through some shit obviously we've fucked up ourselves part of my french we um we, some of it was our own doing undoing some of it wasn't our own undoing but now we're ready for the future and we're basically being positive about it. So that's what that dance kind of represents for me, right? Even the colors, even the individuality, female, right? Modern world now, like we're like, we're, we're ready for the future. Exactly. So I didn't want to stay on this emptiness of the yeah. factories that are banned. And I wanted to give a, some hope uh, towards the end. So through, through the music that really tried to focus on, on the present 
yeah. really be there. Uh, don't expect much from it. It's just 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 embrace what we are watching. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted that to have this kind of little hope uh, for the future. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. So, what did you think about the audience feedback? Uh, we send you the audience feedback from North America. What did you think? What they had to say about your film? That was really nice. It was the first time I got a reaction like this to my films. <laughs> so it was really lovely to see it, people filming themselves and actually really understanding the concept and understanding what we, the point of view we wanted to, to show. To, they understood the development of the city, the different stages. Of course, we also have the text in the beginning that helps guiding a bit the viewer uh, through through all this um, all the history. But it's really nice to see that people got it, and even they mentioned specific parts uh, of the film that for me were quite key. So that that's that's important. It's nice. Yeah, you got it. So uh, what are you up to now? What are you doing now? At this moment, uh, we actually just got another funding with the same dance school for next year. So we are still, yeah, just like last month, I think, or the beginning of this month, we got it. So we are just developing concept now, probably would be more of documentary style, but still related with dance, also in the same area. And uh, that's the, the upcoming. And daily, I'm I'm a video editor and post producer, so I work uh, in a couple of different projects uh, every day. Cool. Well, I love this film. I think you're 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 fantastic. I love to see the next film that gets made. It seems like you got a good collaboration with this dance studio. And uh, let's talk again when you make your next film. I would love to. All right, man. Thank you so much.